it's Mrs. Kelsevic. How are you guys doing? Remember I said to save the TP tubes and the cardboard and maybe some paper towel rolls. Um, we're going to use these this week for um, a fun art assignment. So I'm going to go over the handout that's going to be in the required assignments. And then I will do a little drawing and then I'm going to include some time lapse videos. I've been trying to play around with technology and learn some new things. Um, and we've made some little cardboard guys. Um, you get to see my daughter made one. Oops, sorry. I'm try still trying to get used to where I am with the screen. She made a little tiny Trixie Chihuahua guy. Um, so you can see that you might end up hearing her bark in the background um, like the last time. So let me go over uh, this assignment. There'll be a PDF and it should say TP tube time. And so if you take a look, kind of just sim very similar to last week's assignment. If you go through it, what can you do with a TP tube? Okay, get creative. Um, Lots of people have, maybe you, you should have these. Remember, um, paper towel. Uh, this is a little bit thicker, might be hard to cut, but this was from um, some aluminum foil. So you can use that. Remember, if you have cereal boxes, you can use that too. Um, and those roll up pretty easily. Okay, so get as creative as you want. So if you look at this, so that you can see it. Create something with TV, TP tubes or paper towel rolls or any of those cardboard things I just showed you. Um, animals or people. You might want to create a marble run on a wall. Some of you maybe did um, one of the club days where they did marble runs. So you could use um, some of these cardboard things for that and some paper. Um, you might even want to make an animation or a time lapse. And I'm going to show you some kind of animated ones. Shadow, you want to say hello? Come here. Come here. Come here. Here's Shadow Dog. He doesn't know what to do with everybody home. Do oh, I know. I know. I know. Here. Can you get down? Are you going to make something with me? Okay. So, all those suggested materials. You can also use markers, um, tape, um, and I'll show you a little bit of some stuff that I have. But if you don't have anything and you just have the TP tube, you can just draw on it. Um, if you just have scissors, scissors, pencil, TP tube, you, th that's all you really need. Um, but you can get really creative with these. Um, again, I'm going to share some examples with you. So if you use your computer for research, take a look at some different things that there are. Um, let me go through that and I'll scoot back up here to make sure that you do that. This is an artist, um, Anastasia, I think it's Elias or Elias. Um, she takes the other pieces of um, the cardboard and puts them inside and it creates little worlds like little dioramas. Um, this was one that I found that they were cutting apart different pieces and then folding them and bending them. You could make a whole arrangement of flowers if you wanted to. Um, these are from some Instagram uh, teacher friends that I have. So um, this is uh, Ashcam works and this is Ashley and she is creative and does all kinds of things. If you follow her on Instagram, you'll see all the kinds of awesome stuff that she makes. And she had posted this, that she was, had made some things out of some TP tubes. Um, this one is see it and make it. And I have another little link at the bottom that I'll show you in a second, but they're doing some things with kind of recyclables. Here are some other ones that you can look at. These, This is an artist. He takes the TP tubes and soaks them or wets them, sprays them, and then scrunches them up um, to make crazy faces. I've done this before and tried. It's kind of tough, but if you do it, let me, let's see it. And I'd love to see what you did, but they can be kind of difficult to make, but that's an artist, um, Junior Fritz, um, that does that. These are all kinds of different animals. You can see some are painted, some have paper on them. So if you've construction paper, um, you can make a little pencil holder, dual purpose. Um, then you could also just do something really abstract, cut them apart, attach them in different ways, paint them. Um, and then let me see. Oops, 
sorry about that. Um, these are some other interactive ones that you could do. So like I said, Marble Run, if you have paper plates, um, this is one that let me click on this and let's hope the link, the link should work when you click on it. Um, and you can see it's interactive and they just have a tube. I'm not going to play the whole thing. I'll let you play that if it'll load. Oh, Wi-Fi. It's very slow going. So, um, if not, it's like it's not, oh, maybe here it goes. Maybe if I look at it through these again, maybe it'll go faster. Might be because I have so many things open. There it is. Um, she's going to show you how to do something a little interactive with this. And you end up making a little insert and the faces turn. Um, so again, it's kind of a little, a little animated um, person so that you can see that. I'm going to close out of that really quick because it's just slow and it's dragging. Okay. Okay. So let's go over here and look at some of these things. So these were some, and I'll put the time lapse with our video um, that you can see that the little lion, little feet, okay. This one was from the paper towel roll, but you could easily, like one of the ones um, that's posted in the example, use two of these guys and cut them apart and attach them. And you can see, I'm going to show you this because look, tape, they had to have some band-aids, some boo-boos re repaired, tape. Um, so you don't have to do this perfect the first time. You'll see in the time lapse, I end up cutting that off accidentally and I kind of go, whoa. Um, so you can fix those up. And then here's our little chihuahua guy. Okay. So you can do all kinds of things where you just want to draw on here. That's what my daughter did. She drew on there and then cut it apart and then attach some of the pieces. Um, again, if you just have a pencil and this, I mean, you can just draw right on those if you want. Um, anything that you want to do. So um, tape, masking tape, any of the kind of little extra pieces. Um, if you have a low temp hot glue gun, um, that, that'll work. And sometimes it works a little faster. So you can use any of those things. So let me go back to this. When you're finished, so remember like the last time when you're finished, you want to make sure that you save your creation. So I want you to take a picture of it if you want to do that with your Google Chromebook, if you want to do it with your phone, um, iPad, something else, but make sure that you name it, save it, and you're going to want to add attachment to our assignment so that we can share it. I'm going to get ready to share some of the um, positivity posters that people made. They were awesome. Um, I'm going to share those with some of the staff this week, and I'm going to share that with um, the world um, or whoever follows my Instagram. Um, I'm going to put those on there and share that because that was really fun. So make sure you add attachment because I like to share out what other students are doing. Um, don't forget, though, you have to hit mark it done. This guy right here, mark it done. If you don't, it doesn't know that you submitted it. Some people, sometimes the upload isn't quite done and I think some people have submitted it. So just make sure you do those um, steps and then you'll have your assignment done. So I can't wait to see what you do with your TP tubes, okay? I hope you have a great week and I can't wait to see this, these things. Stay tuned. Um, for some more videos and if you have any questions remember to email mrs massey did an email um tutorial um and just let me know if you need to send me a time to do a google hangout so that we can talk or chat we can do that too so i hope you're keeping busy and staying active and stay creative